Well, months after copper wire was cut from dozens of Billings streetlights, costing taxpayers thousands in repairs, police say they have identified the suspect. However, he is not behind bars and instead handed a citation. Back in November, copper wire was pulled from streetlight poles around Billings. Damien Abuchan was cited on April 15th after police say video surveillance caught him stealing copper wire from light poles on 2nd Avenue North on railroad property. He was only cited with a misdemeanor criminal mischief charge because the value of theft didn't exceed $1,500. And police say there is a recurring theme when it comes to hate when it comes to crimes like this, all related to the Billings drug scene. That suspect again only cited with misdemeanor criminal mischief because of the value of that theft didn't exceed the $1,500. But as MTN's Andrea Lutz reports, this kind of petty crime is raising new questions about how it's enforced and how money is made off of stealing it. Like I-beams or tubing or rebar. Crunching, smashing. This machine's running, that one's running. All of this, just another day at Pacific Steel's recycling yard. It's kind of a fun place. Jason Heath shows me it all. Most days. But of all the things people bring in to recycle. Copper's the higher valued commodity, so that's one people are probably going to choose to go after most. A commodity valued to thieves, so he watches for something he calls. That's a pretty big red flag. So if somebody would bring in a spool of something like this that's not a contractor, that's the immediate red flag to us. It's usually stolen from construction sites and downtown buildings, most recently taken from the light poles of some of Billings' most traveled streets. We don't want to take stolen items. We don't want to buy from those kind of people usually brought in here for that quick cash. Can you ask them where they got it? If you, those big quantities, we will ask them as kind of the, one of those preventative measures. Uh, and obviously if they start getting fidgety or um, a common one is I'd found it my grandpa's barn. In good faith, Pacific Steel checks for ID and tracks every item. We try to combat it the best we can, but at the same time, we can't question every customer what they're bringing in. You might think such a petty crime would be easy to crack. It's not serialized. Uh, it's been stripped from, you know, the plastic cabling that would help identify it. And because the amount of copper caught at a time is usually so small, officers are bound by the constraints of the law, handing over only a misdemeanor citation with the hope the suspected thief will show up in court. Instead, what police say is the biggest loss. Quality life offenses, street lights that aren't working. Uh, you have facilities that don't have power anymore. It's much like the broken windows theory, uh, graffiti in a neighborhood. A big flag. So Heath finds himself still watching closely. Once again, very industry specific. For those red flags. In Billings, Andrea Lutz, MTN News. And police say there is a recurring theme when it comes to crimes like this, all related to the Billings drug scene. People are looking for quick cash, even if it's not very much.